The Anglo-Zulu War, fought between the British Empire and the Zulu Kingdom in 1879, was a significant conflict in the history of Southern Africa. It was a result of tensions between the British colonial forces and the powerful Zulu Kingdom, which was fiercely defending its independence and sovereignty. As a man, Setshweo was known for his intelligence, political acumen, and diplomatic skills. He was deeply committed to preserving Zulu traditions and cultural heritage while also recognizing the need to modernize aspects of the kingdom to defend against external threats. King Setshweo, who was the nephew of the great Shaka Zulu, was physically impressive, described as tall and well-built, with a commanding presence. He was known to wear traditional Zulu attire, which included leopard skins and feathers, signifying his royal status. As a king, he carried himself with dignity and authority, which earned him the respect and loyalty of his people. Before we go further, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos. Now back to our video. The roots of the Anglo-Zulu War can be traced back to the British desire for territorial expansion and control of the rich resources in southern Africa. The British sought to consolidate their dominance in the region and establish control over the indigenous populations, including the Zulu people. In 1877, the British High Commissioner for Southern Africa, Sir Henry Bartle Frere, decided to intervene in Zululand to undermine the Zulu Kingdom's power and authority. The pretext for this intervention was that the Zulu King, Setshweo, was not receptive to British demands to dismantle his military and accept British overlordship. The Zulu military, honed by King Shaka in the early 19th century, was known for its disciplined and efficient warriors. The Zulu Impis, warrior regiments, were renowned for their skill in using the traditional weapons of the region, such as the Ikawa, short stabbing spear, and the Isolangu, cowhide shield. They were organized into well-trained units that could rapidly maneuver on the battlefield. The British forces were equipped with modern weaponry, including rifles and artillery, giving them a significant advantage over the Zulu warriors, who mainly relied on close-quarter combat. However, British command and communication were not always effective, and they faced logistical challenges in unfamiliar and often hostile terrain. The war began on January 11, 1879, with the British invasion of Zululand. In the early stages of the conflict, the British suffered a major defeat at the Battle of Isanwana on January 22, 1879. A large British force was encamped on the slopes of Isanwana Hill when it was attacked by a Zulu army, led by Prince Dabulamanzi Kampand and Chingweo Koza. The Zulu warriors managed to break through the British defenses, resulting in a devastating loss for the British, including the death of over 1,300 soldiers. However, the British regrouped later on, and in the subsequent Battle of Rourke's Drift on January 22 to 23, 1879, a small British garrison successfully defended a mission station against a determined Zulu attack, turning the tide in favor of the British. The war culminated in the Battle of Ulundi on July 4, 1879. British forces, led by Lord Chelmsford, eventually defeated the Zulu army. The Zulu forces, though valiant, were unable to withstand the firepower and discipline of the British troops. King Setshweo was captured shortly after this battle, effectively ending the war. Following the defeat of the Zulu Kingdom, British forces divided Zululand into 13 smaller territories, each ruled by a local chief who was more amenable to British control. The Zulu monarchy was reduced in authority, and Setshweo was exiled to Cape Town before eventually being allowed to return to Zululand as a puppet ruler under British supervision. The Anglo-Zulu War left a lasting impact on the Zulu people and the region as a whole. 
It marked a significant step in the British colonization of Southern Africa, setting the stage for further expansion and conflicts with other indigenous populations. The war also highlighted the resilience and bravery of the Zulu warriors, who initially defeated the British army but latter were defeated. Despite their eventual defeat, they earned respect for their military prowess and determination to defend their homeland. We hope you enjoyed this journey through history of great black men. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more exciting exposures on our channel. This is Jinjist Viral Video, signing out.